Welcome everyone to Sunday's video. I'm just going to give you a little bit of a narration of what you're going to see. There's been a lot on my heart and on my mind and I'm going to share with you just a little bit. My channel is going to be sharing with you how to cope in hard times and whatever that hard times may be. It could be different things. It could be the economy. It could be the world stage, the government, or it could be just hard times with job loss or hard times just with the price of everything these days. My videos are going to be very real. They're going to be something that you can learn from them. I live in such a way that even though I do have a few more modern conveniences I did when I first started my channel, there's still many things that I do that are very unique and very different. For instance, like hand hauling water out by hand. All of these things I do. And I believe that we're in a day and age where a lot of us are going to have to learn to think outside the box. My channel is never and will never be a doom and gloom, but I do see a lot of things happening in this world that I need to speak up and I need to share my thoughts. to see is me hands-on sharing with you different ways of living. It's going to be me hands-on showing you ways that you can cope when hardships come your way. This is a Sunday video so the rest of this video I'm just going to share with you my life and how I bring peace in my life starting from the very early morning. Very early morning I get up and I work in my garden and I am very busy tending my garden and tending my homestead. My life is closed right where I live. It's my own sanctuary, but there are hardships right outside my door. And I just got back from working on another shift. I do work once a month as a food salvage rescuer and we take food and we feed the hungry and to feed the community the video that i did today you'll be seeing in a couple weeks but i realize we are in a day and age where there are a lot of people that are financially hurting very deeply and i realize that we're in a day and age where when things break we have to adapt with that and we can't always pay a couple thousand dollars to get things fixed and I realize that we're in a day and age where a lot of people are becoming very despaired. Desperation, despair, depression. And I know that through all of the things that we go through, we have two ways of looking at it. We can curse God, become depressed, or we can be a challenge to focus our life on what is important. And while money is hard to come by and people are living very desperate, we don't have to be depressed by it. My channel is not going to be for everyone. I understand that. My channel is going to be for certain people. People who want to learn and people who want a positive way at facing tough things and tough problems. What do you do if your electricity will run out? What do you do if we would have a war here in our own ground? War here in the United States. What would you do if the grocery stores no longer had food stocked on their shelves? What would you do if you didn't have running water? Which you are going to be seeing this week. We did not have any running water. We had a major break. And I'm sharing with you what you can do. What would you do if you couldn't leave your home again for weeks and weeks and months at a time. These scenarios I'm going to tackle on my channel because I've been there. I've done it. I'm doing it today. There are things that I have to do that the average American doesn't have to do. But see, the difference is I'm not doing it 
for the shock treatment of it all, or in other words, for the clickbait and, and hopes that I get all these people. I'm doing it because this is how I live. And I kept quiet about it for a while because I was really focusing on what does the Lord want me to do? What is my channel going to be about? See, if I don't have a purpose, then there's no purpose for my channel. And I realize I have a purpose and the day that we're living in, because I believe that we are living in hard times and I believe we are going to have harder times, but there's no could be no doom and gloom on my channel. I'm not going to say the world's gone. I'm not going to say any of that. You're going to watch me and you can see a smile on my face. You're going to watch me tackle these problems in a positive way for those people who want to learn. Maybe this will be just very entertaining to you to find a 52 year old woman that's bucketing water and hauling water and bathing and washing her hair with the rain barrel because I had to, because I had no water until we got that part fixed. You see, I'm just a girl in this big wide world who wants to make a difference in someone's life. And how am I gonna make a difference? To show with you hardships but do it in a way that it's not depressing, but do it in a way that's encouraging. Because when this world, hardships come, if they come like people say they're gonna come, I don't know, I'm not a conspiracy thinker. My family is, I'm not. But I wanna be that girl on the channel and say, hey, I live this way, you can too if you had to, and this is how you do it. You see, there's two kinds of people. There's the kind of person that sits and just talks and says what she read in a book or he read in a book. And then there's people like me who lived dirt poor, dirt poor, who lived in a home that was broken, who lived in a home that because we were getting out of debt, this is what we could afford, who lived in a home that nobody wanted. See, that's me. I went from riches to rags. I did. And it wasn't fun in the beginning, but then all of a sudden, my eyes opened up, and my world opened up, and I had YouTube. And then I realized I could teach, I could share my life with people who right now are feeling desperate and feeling the despair and feeling like there's nobody who understands. I understand. Yep, I understand. I understand what it's like to be made fun of. I understand what it's like to be scoffed and mocked upon. I know what it's like to go to bed at night and wondering how you're going to get up the next morning and do the things that you need to do. I am that person. I am that person that's been severely made fun of. The person who, no matter what I said, it wasn't good enough. I was that person. I'm not that person anymore because I'm a person with worth. I have value and I have a calling. And my calling is to share with all of you what you can do in the weeks and months and years to come. And you know what? If no trouble ever comes to the United States of America and we live a prosperous life, then you'll learn something from me. But I have a feeling that it's the other scenario. I have a feeling that we are going to be facing some things that we've never faced before. And as long as YouTube is here, and I will be too, so, buckle up, it's going to be a, an adventure, and it's going to be a ride, and it's going to be a ride where you're going to learn something, and if you don't learn anything, you're going to be encouraged, because I can promise you that. This is how I spend my days, in my own little world, in my own little peaceful world that's given me such comfort, and my 1963 Ridgeway Double Wide, with a little bit of heaven on earth. Take care everyone and we'll see you guys tomorrow because 365 days of the year there's a video from my home to yours.
It's been so incredibly hot here in Pennsylvania and extremely dry. I find myself having to get up earlier and earlier each morning to get my chores done. It's either I stay up really late or I get up really early. And well, after 3 p.m., I'm pretty tired, so I get up early. Ready to harvest? 